Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, welcome to Rangpur Jilla School online class. I am Muhammad Ohidud Jaman, Assistant Teacher, English, Rangpur Jilla School, Rangpur. Dear students, how are you? I hope you are well. I also hope that you are staying at home to remain safe from pandemic COVID-19 novel coronavirus. Today I will conduct a class for the students of class 9 and 10. In the previous class, I taught you transformation of sentence, compound to simple. But now I will teach you simple to compound. I hope you will try to listen and understand them attentively. After practicing this, students will learn the use of conjunctions, the structure of a sentence, variety of expressions in speaking and writing English. Dear learners, in your previous class, I told you what transformation is. I also told you what simple sentence is what compound sentences, what finite verb is. In that class, you learned the method of using by plus gerund, without plus gerund, present participle, perfect participle, infinitive, etc. You also learned the structure of a simple sentence, compound sentence, and the uses of conjunctions. I think you know them well, so I don't want to discuss them again. Today, I will teach you how to change simple sentence into compound sentence. I think you are ready. Are you ready? Yes. Number one, if the simple sentence is done by adding present participle, it will be transformed into compound by using cumulative conjunction and in the middle of the two clauses. Simple sentence, going to the garden, Rakib saw a red rose. Explanation, if we want to transform this simple sentence into compound sentence, we have to change the present participle phrase into a main clause. So, we have to use subject Rakib at first. Then verb went, past form of the verb go, since the other clause is in the past tense. After that, we will use and in the middle of the two clauses. Now the compound sentence is, Rakib went to the garden and saw a red rose. Have you understood? Yes, I think you have understood. Next sentence, being honest, he could not tell a lie. Here, we have to use subject he at first. Then be verb was, since the other clause is in the past tense. After that, we will use and in the middle of the two clauses. Now the compound sentence is, he was honest and could not tell a lie. Is it clear to you? Yes, I think so. Next simple sentence, the weather being cold, we cannot go out. Here, you can see that subject is given in the first clause. So, we have to use be verb is in place of being. Then, we will use and in the middle of the two clauses. Now, the compound sentence is the weather is cold and we cannot go out. Serial number two, if the simple sentence is done by adding perfect participle, 
it will be transformed into compound by using cumulative conjunction and in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence having forgotten him i went out explanation here we have to change the perfect participle phrase into a main clause so we have to use subject i in the beginning of the clause then had past form of the verb have after that we have to use conjunction and in the middle of the two clauses now the compound sentence is i had forgotten him and went out serial number 3 if the simple sentence is done by adding by plus gerund it will be transformed into compound by using conjunction and in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence by reciting the poem again and again you can memorize it explanation here we have to change by plus gerund into main clause this main clause will take the structure of an imperative sentence then we have to use and in the middle of the two clauses now the compound sentence is decide the poem again and again and you can memorize it number 4 if the simple sentence is done by adding without plus gerund it will be transformed into compound by using alternative conjunction or or otherwise in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence without observing the rules of health you cannot enjoy a good health explanation here we have to change without plus gerund into main clause this main clause will take the structure of an imperative sentence then we have to use or in the middle of the two clauses now the compound sentence is observe the rules of health or you cannot enjoy a good health serial number 5 if the simple sentence is done by adding a prepositional phrase in spite of it will be transformed into compound by using adversative conjunction but yet still nevertheless etc in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence in spite of being cold sorry in spite of being old he was young at heart explanation here you have to use subject he in the beginning of the sentence then use verb was since the other part is in the past indefinite tense after that you will use adjective or old now it became a clause then we will use but in the middle of the two clauses since the clauses are expressing opposite ideas now our compound sentence is he was old but he was young at heart serial number 6 if the simple sentence is done by adding phrase because of due to on account of it will be changed into compound by using conjunction and in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence because of his merit he was awarded the first prize explanation dear students look at the simple sentence here you have to bring subject in the beginning of the sentence then use verb was after that you have to change the word merit into adjective meritorious finally you will use and in the middle of the two clauses now the compound sentence is 
he was meritorious and was awarded the first prize serial number 7 if the simple sentence is done by adding 2 dot dot 2 it will be changed into compound by using conjunction and in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence the boy is too weak to walk Dear students, here you have to use very in place of to, then use and after the adjective weak. After using conjunction, you will use subject again for the second clause. Then use cannot or could not plus verb according to tense. Now your compound sentence. is done the boy is very weak and he cannot walk number 8 if the simple sentence is done by adding to infinitive or to infinitive phrase it will be changed into compound by using relative conjunction and so in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence the fisherman goes to the river to catch fish explanation here the rule is that the infinitive phrase refers to the purpose of the other action so you have to use wants or want or wanted in the objective sentence according to the tense of the other part of the sentence this clause will be set at first then you have to use conjunction and so in the middle then the other clause of the sentence will be set now the compound sentence will be the fisherman wants to catch fish and so he goes to the river serial number 9 if the simple sentence is done by adding an adjective before the noun in the place of object it will be changed into compound by using and in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence i helped a poor boy explanation here you have to remove the adjective poor to make a basic structure of a sentence using the adjective poor and that will be a main clause so the clause will be he was poor according to the other part of the sentence now you have to write the first clause i helped a boy then use and after that the clause he was poor now the compound sentence is i helped a boy and he was poor number 10 if the simple sentence is done by adding an adverb in the beginning of the sentence it will be transformed into compound by using and in the middle of the two clauses simple sentence suddenly they will attend the meeting explanation dear learners here you have to change the adverb into adjective and you have to follow the structure subject it plus be verb plus adjective this newly created structure will be set in the second half of the sentence now the sentence will be they will attend the meeting and it is certain understand dear learners yes i think so now can i expect that you have understood what i have already taught you yes you will practice them at home then they will be easy for you 
if you have any complication in understanding don't hesitate to ask me see you again in another class thank you students